Alright, so now I'm back to finish this quest. <sighs> but yeah, in case anyone's wondering, like... Why did I save at that save spot? Oh wait, that's right. I... Okay, so I have to get those two girls again. But anyways, so... In case anyone was wondering why I haven't been making videos lately, it's because I got a crap load of new games and I've been playing them all instead of this. Uh, I got... Like a week ago, I got four games. I got Fable 3, 9 Hours, 9 Persons, 9 Doors, uh, Rhapsody a Musical Adventure, and uh, Final Fantasy Four Heroes of Light or whatever. Fable 3 was pretty awesome. I played the shit out of that game. <laughs> I got... Uh, I got the the maximum number of people saved as a good king, which is actually pretty difficult to do. Okay. So then... I think I already have these in my previous video, but yeah, I need to do these again because I guess I didn't save or whatever. So, this first chick that's with her back facing to you, uh, for this publicity, the second option, and then for matchmaking, the fifth option, and then this chick for publicity, the first option, and then... Uh, oops. For matchmaking, also the first option. Anyways, so yeah, uh, it's a lot harder to save everyone in Albion as a good king. Well, maybe not like really difficult, but you definitely have to put in a lot more er, effort. And then, so that was awesome, and I played with my brother. We had a lot of fun on our live stream. I'll have to upload some of the videos on my other channel. But, um... What else did I get? Oh yeah, I got this game. I saw it in the store, and I was like, do I want this or not? It, it looked really interesting, but I wasn't sure because I hadn't heard of it. It's called Nine Hours, Nine Persons, Nine Doors. And, um, it's like this visual novel slash puzzle game that's really, really good. It's, um, you play this guy named Junpei, and you wake up in a room that starts to flood, and you have to quickly solve a puzzle and find your way out, and it's a pretty in-depth puzzle and then you find out that you're in a ship and you're forced to play this game by this psychopath who only calls himself Zero and I played it twice or like I, I beat it twice because it was just that awesome and there are six endings but I got two bad endings both of which resulted in me being murdered and then I got Rhapsody, a musical adventure. It's um, a remake of a of an old PlayStation One game, <coughs> and uh, you play this chick named Cornette who can talk to dolls, and uh, she dreams of meeting a prince and falling in love with him. You know, getting married, you know, all that stuff. So then she actually does meet a prince because uh, he saves her from a dragon. So then she tries to get his attention and stuff. And it's pretty lighthearted. 
And I guess some people would consider it girly, because it's about finding true love and stuff, but it was fun. I liked it. I beat it already. Um, okay, so this guy, for publicity, the third option. And then the other game I got, ooh, what's that do? Uh, was Final Fantasy Four Heroes of Light. Eh, I won't use that right now. <clears throat> I didn't like that game. I mean, I'm a pretty big Final Fantasy fan, as evidenced by this and some of my other videos on my YouTube channel. But I just... I didn't like it. It's the battle system, people are like, ooh, it's getting back to Final Fantasy's roots. And it was alright. You had, like, no control over it. The computer automatically selects your targets for you. And so, sometimes you would get screwed up because you really needed to attack something with a certain spell, but you end up attacking something else. And the story was kind of aggravating to me. I liked it at first, but... One of the main characters, um... He... The, like, main, main character really annoyed me. Is this a dude or a chick? I think it's a dude. Actually, wait, the heck? Oh, I guess you can't do anything for this guy. I was pressing square, but nothing happened. Anyways, uh, the characters were alright. One of them was uh, this princess who's a self-centered bitch. Like, really. And then the main main guy... He was all crying. He's like, oh, no, I'm not strong enough. Even though he was, because you go and beat this boss and you kick its ass, and then he's like, oh, I didn't really help. And then you do the, the same thing to another boss, but he's like, dang, I wasn't helped this time either. And then so he, for some reason, feels the need to leave the party and go train by himself. And I was like... That doesn't even make any sense. So I ended up, uh, I missed the return day. I was sad. You know, uh, I could only return it within seven days and I went back on the eighth day. So I just sold it back to GameStop. And then after I sold that back, I had enough credit from other games that I sold back to get two other games, I got... Okay, one sec. For this chick, for publicity, the fourth thing, and then for matchmaking, the second thing. I got ZHP Unlosing Ranger versus Dark Death Evil Man, and I got Knights in the Nightmare. I haven't beaten either of those yet, but they're both really fun. Uh... Knights in the Nightmare is a tactical, turn-based, bullet-hell RPG by Atlas, and it's just as awesome as it sounds. It's really complicated, though, and the tutorial mission doesn't explain a lot of the things that you need to know, so they also have a, a tip section that you should probably read. I went and read through the whole thing, and I'm like, oh, no wonder I was having so much trouble in some of these battles. And then, Unlosing Ranger is really, really funny. But at the same time, they actually touch on a couple of, like, really important subjects, like bullying and, uh, true love, not just trying to buy people's love. So it's like, it talks about a few serious things, but it's just really funny and ridiculous. 
and you can customize pretty much everything. Uh, your outfit, your body, like you can implant chips to increase your stats, your secret base, your theme song also changes depending upon your equipment. <laughs> you get a theme song that plays while you're in a certain dungeon, it's pretty awesome. So, all of those games that I mentioned, except for the Final Fantasy, I would recommend all of them. They're awesome. Except for the Final Fantasy. <coughs> but yeah. So, that's why I haven't been recording lately. How was your day? This chick. You can't do it to this chick either. Wait, why wouldn't you want me to know? They're like trying to synchronize the Machina, and they're like, don't tell anyone. And I'm like, mm, isn't that. Whatever. I. Whatever. So yeah, you can't uh, talk to her about the marriage or the PR either. I really hope I'm almost done with this. Except I don't think I am. I thought I saw a person down here, but I guess I'm just hallucinating. Oh yeah, I also started playing uh, Final Fantasy X again. I've already beaten it, but I started doing a second playthrough because of all the times when Yuna says something. She's like, oh hey, remember that time when this happened? And I'm like, nope. Or when she runs into somebody and they're like, Lady Yuna, you remember us? And I'm like, who are you again? So, yes. Eh, I don't really need that. So I decided to do a second playthrough so that I'd actually get all of the references that they're talking about. I'm still not finished with it, I'm only like... I'm not that far in, I just did the Jose Temple Cloister of Trials. For those of you who know the game, it's not that far in. One of my friends, sometimes she texts me for like help, and so I had I did that, and then I finished up, and I was like, oh well, I'll just, I'll go to bed tonight, because I'm kind of tired. So then I got into bed, and then a little bit later, I heard a text, like the little jingle from my phone. So I got up and got my phone, and she was like, I need help. And I was like, let me guess, the Jose Temple. And she was like, yeah. And I thought it was kind of funny, because I was like literally just there and I actually had a little bit of trouble with it because it's pretty complicated. There's this part that I didn't know where you have to like push this pedestal into some electricity field and you can then you can use it as a platform because I guess the magneticness holds it in place or something. Yeah, it was 